Hello, in this tutorial on C++ I want to introduce you to the function, actually not introduce but continue the last tutorial and tell something that I didn't mention in that tutorial although I should. Ok, we made today function pointers. Uh, let's get started with make a function, so in uh, add it requires two parameters in int a and then int b. Ok, and return a plus b. Return a plus b. It's very simple, but uh, what happens if we if we just pass one parameter or we don't want to pass parameters at all? So that's why there is a uh, called default parameter. So in this way, if we pass just one parameter, the a will be something we passed, and the b will be zero. We, if we pass two parameters, the a will be the one parameter, and b will be another parameter. If we don't pass parameters at all, a and b will be zero, and it will return zero. Okay. Although it's not a such a it's not so good example because usually you want to add two numbers, not one. But oh, I think you understand the the possibilities with it. Okay, add two and five, and in a new line, add uh, two, and in a new line add with no parameters and make a new line. As you can see it work here as well. Ok, compiled the program a.out and as you can see in the first scenario we add 2 plus 5 in the second we add 2 plus 0 and in the third we add 0 and 0, which is obviously 0. Ok, that is for default parameters. And uh, let's see about uh, function pointers. Function pointers is pretty much uh, like a pointer just for the function. Uh, why is it good for us? Uh, there is uh, reasons, but not for this simple tutorial ok, uh, later for example you can put into an array uh, array of pointers and you can run all of the functions with a loop for example ok, let's get started first we declare the return type in this case it is int then in parentheses you put the variable the name of the variable it is called func for example, but you can call it anything you want. And close the parentheses and open another after that. And you define the parameter which the function weights. In this case, it's weight to int, separated with comma, of course. Now, the func, func f, u, and c variable is actually a function pointer. Okay. And now we declared, now we define the function pointer f, u, and c, make it equal, so assignment operator, uh, the address of add, we don't need parentheses after that, uh, it even works without the address of operator, although because it is clearer with address of operator, we put it there. Now, uh, we call the function so with func func f u n c we pass two parameters like 5 2 and write it out count func and a new line after it oh and that's it we save it we get a terminal compile it and as you can see it works well 
So I just want to show you we will not use function pointers too much, but later it can it can be an example when we should use them. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day.